Hi guys, it's Amit from Unlimited Elements and today in the tutorial I'm going to introduce a new feature we've added for um, custom post templates and advanced custom field support. So I'm going to show you an example of how to use this. I've designed a recipe website and this is going to be the recipe page. I want the pages to use posts for the recipes so I'm going to add some custom fields into the post using ACF and the custom fields I'm going to use are ingredients, duration, how long it takes to make the recipe, difficulty if it's hard or medium, type vegan or veg vegetarian. And the title and the description are going to come from the regular fields of the post. Also the image is going to come from the post. So it's kind of a mix and match with ACF and the regular post fields. Let's see how we're going to do it. So first of all, I'm going into WordPress. You need unlimited elements, of course, installed. And you're going to need ACF installed also for the custom fields. So first of all, before we're going into unlimited elements, let's create our custom fields. And over here. I'm going to click add new and we need to group it up we're going to call the group um, recipe and we're going to add a field so the first field I want to add is going to be called ingredients and over here I'm going to use WYSIWYG editor since it's more than one line and I want people to have the ability to break the line. Let's add another one. We'll call it duration. How long it takes to make the recipe. Let's add another one. I'm going to call it difficulty. Great and another one which is going to be called type if it's vegan or not over here we can use maybe a different type let's say and we can use a select and in the choices enter each choice in a new line we're gonna have vegan or vegetarian very cool let's just make sure to save all of this publish and super important to remember that before we're going to create our post we need to enter one of the posts that's going to use us for an example if we scroll down we can see our advanced custom fields so the duration is going to be 15 minutes to create this the difficulty is going to be hard and the type we can choose between vegan and veg vegetarian cool so we got all this set up oh let's also put in some ingredients so let's say eggs well eggs is not uh, vegan so uh, let's go for spinach and tomatoes and broccoli and that's okay for demonstration purposes I think that's enough and again the title and the description and the featured image are going to come from the post itself that you don't need uh, advanced custom fields for that but anything special you want to add that's the reason we're adding the advanced custom fields Cool, so we have all this set up. Super important to save. Without saving, we won't see it later on in the limited elements when creating the post itself. Let's jump into unlimited elements. I'm going to create a new category. I'm going to call it post templates. And let's scroll down to find it. Great, it's over here add add-on, I'm going to call it recipe template ok, 
gonna add that double click jumping before I jump into code pen we need to select use dynamic content yes and we need to search for and the specific post I forgot its name let me just copy that Nula great this is for demonstration purposes and we need the use of custom fields since we've added some custom fields great so we got yes selected over here yes over here and we got our demo post selected jumping into the HTML I'm going to copy that from my code pen super easy CSS I'm going to do the same thing and we can start submitting our content inside of here so first of all we got the image that we want to change to be the post image i'm going to open over here current post and look for post image current post image great let's jump into the html inside of the html we got our ingredients we're going to replace that with ingredients over here image we've done 10 minute is the duration let's switch that off by the way in ingredients we need to add pipe raw and that's just the syntax and from the framework we're using which is twig and to allow HTML and not just a simple string of text recipe title we're going to use the current post title difficulty advanced custom field it's going to be at the end and vegan is the type and I think the last thing we have left is the text of the post itself which is going to come from content post content I think we got everything set up hopefully so let's test this out first of all to assign this we're going to need to go to templates theme builder and what we want to design is the single post layout so I'm going to click the single tab, add a new single, and I'm going to call this, the template name is going to be recipe or custom recipe. And the first thing and we're going to need to choose over here and in my templates, let's close this and search for the widget we've created which is recipe template I'm going to drag that inside and beautiful we're seeing all the dynamic content which is the image the duration the title the description difficulty the type and the ingredients all designed of course we can add to our widget any other setting let's just add an example for that so I'm gonna publish this I'm gonna save save and close to publish and exit to dashboard for example I want the ability to be able to change where the duration is the color so I'm going to add an attribute let's add some default color and that will be able to edit so in the CSS let's search for a subtitle we're going to change the static blue to our dynamic field attribute and let's jump back into the theme builder to our recipe edit with Elementor and 
and to edit this over here we can see we can edit it so let's go for something green which looks good with food websites so that was a quick explanation of advanced custom fields and using widgets as post templates if you have any questions please post them in the comments and I'd be glad to get your feedback if you have more examples of stuff you want to make with this please update us and we can uh, help you out thank you for listening and see you next time